at the Beers of Frontiers as we continue on with, with our Icelandic, Icelandic adventure. So today's journey is going to take us what they call around the Golden Circle. Um, there's a lot of stops we're going to make along the way. I'm not going to tell you what they are right now. Uh, you'll just have to be surprised. To tell you the truth, I don't really know where the heck I'm going. Um, so we'll let you know when I get there. Uh, but for now, just buckle up and enjoy the journey. We're on our way. Let's roll. Okay, so one of our first stops we're going to take is uh, called the Pingvalier National Park. It's part of the Golden Circle. You know, you can sign up for the tour and get on the tour bus and be on an organized tour. You can just rent a car and do it yourself. That's kind of what we're doing. So we can stop wherever we want. Uh, now, the tour is going to cost you a little bit of money. So is it going to rent a car? It's just your choice. But this is just kind of the way we want to do it. This is the first lake we went to, so just kind of check it out. We're, st we're stopped off along the way here, uh, along the Golden Circle, and it's funny, I went in there uh, to the to the store and I asked the lady for some bottled water. She's like, we drink water out of the tap here, buddy. So that was funny. But it's true, the water is really, really pure here. You can drink it right out of the tap. Um, and the air is so clean. This is one of the great things about living here in Iceland. It's just a beautiful day today. Believe it or not, today's the first day the sun has come out, and uh, and it's actually the coldest day. I've you know, had to put another layer of clothes, so. Uh, but we're going to enjoy the weather, uh, at least the sunshine for now. So let's press on. Check out this Icelandic waterfall. It's amazing. So this is one of the first, one of the first stops we've taken today. Uh, it's beautiful here. Just enjoy. One of the things also about Iceland I should probably point out though, not only is it a beautiful country, they say it's one of the safest countries in the world to live in. The crime rate's relatively low. Uh, they say it's one of the best places for women to live. So quality of life is pretty high and you know, the beauty is spectacular. Check this out. During the times of the Commonwealth, like 1930 to 1260, uh, crimes were dealt with, uh, like minor crimes, people you know, would pay fines, but if there was a harsh crime, a harsh penalty, they would bring them here to the spot where they called dead man walking, the gallows, and they would stretch a, a rope between those two points and they would hang people. They did it here, wow. If you acted up in Iceland back in these days, this is where they sent you. Well, I hope you enjoyed the stay that we had at the uh, Thingvalir National Park. We're now headed to a place called Geezer. So let's get back on the road.
Atlantic drivers are crazy drivers, but I can tell you right now, everyone's been pretty nice on the road so far. I haven't seen anyone who's ever driven in Iceland has never driven in like Las Vegas or LA, because uh, people here are very courteous. So we're on our way to Giza. We're just stopping up at this creek here. It's pretty cool. Uh, very amazing. Beautiful. Let's check it out. Okay, so they actually say you can actually drink right out of the creek here. Oh, that is so good. You don't even know. self-tour of Iceland. There's a couple things you could do. You could do the Golden Circle, which we're doing, which is about 140 uh, kilometers and round trip, take you a couple hours. You get to see a couple of good sites. Uh, or you can do uh, what they call is a uh, Ring Road. That's the road that goes over the entire island of, of Iceland. That will take you probably at least a week. Um, and you'll see a lot more of uh, Iceland that way. That's a little bit more ambitious than what we're trying. Uh, but those are your options. So that's really the best way to see uh, Iceland is just to kind of do your self tour, um, get get in the car and go. So you're not really. I know I mentioned it probably in a video before. You know you're not stuck in the construct of a, a guided tour or a professional tour. If you get a map, you ask some questions, you talk to some people about where to go, even watch some videos. Uh, like that's what I did prior to going to uh, Iceland, as I checked out some other videos of what places that people went to, kind of gave me some ideas. So that's what I would recommend. Yeah, definitely do the self tour. A lot more fun and adventurous that way. So that's what we're here about on the channel. It's all about adventure riding. This landy, I'm liking it. area is a whole area of thermal geothermal activity where the water that comes out of these geysers uh, can get anywhere from 80 to 100 degrees Celsius so just do the math on Fahrenheit it's pretty high so it's pretty amazing but when you come out here just know there's a lot of tourists so I would recommend coming earlier in the day I mean we're here in the mid midday afternoon because we've been stopping off to doing a lot of other places of interest to show you guys so to speak so uh, but we're here now, it's like one o'clock in the afternoon, it's a lot of folks. trip to Iceland with us um, and the videos we've been able to provide to you. So today we went around the Golden Circle. We checked out the falls and a few other spots, a few other spots I should say. And now we're wrapping up here at Giza and uh, showed you the, uh, the thermal, uh, geothermal activity in the area. It's been pretty cool. So, but for now, cheers and beers. Thank you. Check it out.